Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today, we'll solve problem 65 of chapter 8 of Fundamentals of Physics. A particle can slide along a track with elevated ends and a flat central part as shown in the figure. The flat part has length L equals 40 cm. The curved portion of the track are frictionless, but for the flat part, the coefficient of kinetic friction is 0 0.20. The particle is released from the rest at point 8, which is at height 8 equals L divided by 2. How far from the left edge of the flat part does the particle finally stop? So, when we release the, the particle, the particle will slide and part of the energy the particle has will be transformed in heat by the action of the, the friction, by the work done by the, the friction. And the particle will pass through the, the flat part and go up and then go down again and return and go up and go down until it stops and we want to know where the particle will stop so in the initial situation we only have the particle will only have the potential energy so we can write that the energy of the particle will be the mass of the particle, the gravitational acceleration, multiplied by 8, because we are considering here our reference. So here we have 0 of potential energy, and here we have mg multiplied by 8. This energy will all be, in the final situation, all be transformed in heat by the, the work done by the friction. Therefore, we can write that this energy equals the work done by the friction, that is, the friction force, connect friction force, multiplied by the total displacement of the particle. The kinect force, the kinect friction uh, force, we can write here, can be written considering that the movement in the vertical direction in the flat part of the, the track we won't have any vertical movement, so we can equate mg with the normal or the reaction of the surface, the normal force. Therefore, this reaction force will be equal mg, and this implies that the kinect friction will be the kinect friction coefficient multiplied by mg. Therefore, mg8 equals L divided by 2, so L divided by 2, this equals the kinect friction, the coefficient of kinect friction multiplied by mg multiplied by the total displacement of the particle. We can cancel these terms, therefore the total displacement will be L divided by 2 multiplied by 0 0.2. This total displacement will be 40 centimeters divided by 2 divided by 0 0.2, that is, let's do 
part divided by 2 divided by 0 0.2 100 centimeters therefore the particle will go in this direction 40 centimeters then we will return plus 40 centimeters and go 20 centimeters and we will stop so the final position let's write it as xf will be 20 centimeters we divide by uh, the total displacement by l and we take the, the rest of this division, 20 centimeters. And that's it. This is the, the solution of the problem. Therefore, the problem is solved. Mm -hmm.